Hello again, everybody. Doc from Thorofan coming to you with the name behind the race. And uh, all the major prep races, obviously, at this point have been run for the Kentucky Derby. We're just about a fortnight away from the big day. And uh, as we were looking through the stake schedule, trying to figure out a race to feature for this week's segment, uh, we came across a race that actually is not necessarily a prep race for the Derby, but is a prep race for the Preakness, the middle jewel of the Triple Crown. It's called the Federico Tessio Stakes, and it's being run at Laurel this weekend, and Laurel is in Maryland. And uh, who was Mr. Tessio? Uh, why does he have a race named after him? What kind of contributions did he make to the thoroughbred racing world? Well, our journey for that answer actually starts over in Italy, as we look at this week's Name Behind the Race. We head off to the grand country of Italy to learn about the name behind this race, to a place called Dormello Stud. It was here that the later to be called Wizard of Dormello, Mr. Federico Tessio, began to build his breeding dynasty. Born in 1869, he was orphaned at the young age of six. That did not stop him from having a successful life, however, as he eventually earned a degree from the University of Florence and, after a stint with the Italian army during World War I, set about with his wife Lydia to purchase an old silk worm farm on the beautiful shores of Lake Maggiore. This would turn into the world-famous Dormello Stud. At a time when the horse breeding world was based a lot on superstition and other types of beliefs, horses' horoscopes at birth and boars in the foaling barns to keep the bad spirits away from the new foals, for example, the wizard spent a lot of time looking at pedigrees and studying them, sometimes going back as the 12th generation. It was this amazing attention to detail and knowledge of pedigree that allowed him to be what some consider one of, if not the best, breeder of thoroughbred horses in history. Interesting among his theories is that he really only concerned himself with the quality of the stallion and the stallion's records. He didn't really care much for the quality of the dam or what she had done. Horses he bred won a staggering 22 Derby Italianos, a feat that honestly will probably never be even come close to equal. In fact, not only did he breed them, he owned and trained them as well. Probably two of the most influential horses he ever bred were Niarco and the amazing Rebo. Niarco won the Derby Italiano, probably something that was becoming old hat for the wizard by now. However, Niarco also turned into one of the greatest sires of his time, and his grandson was none other than the best horse to ever come out of Canada, Northern Dancer who's seen here winning the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness in his Triple Crown quest. Northern Dancer is considered by some to probably be the most influential sire in the world. However, the wizard was most known for the great Rebo. Rebo was a perfect 16 for 16 in his racing career, winning the Derby Italiano and two successive runnings of the prestigious Prix des Arc de Triomphe in France. The latter of those two victories coming against a very quality field and he did it incredibly easily. He's still considered by some to be the best horse ever to grace the turf in Europe. Sadly, Mr. Tessio never got to see his greatest breeding achievement complete that amazing campaign as Tessio died in 1954, just before Rebo's racing career began. The Federico Tessio has had a mild impact on the Preakness itself in recent years, with winners such as Ichabod Crane in 2008 and the popular local boy Magic Wisner in 2002 running gamely to place in the Preakness those years. The last horse to complete the Tessio Preakness double? That would be deputed testimony, who accomplished the feat over the sloppy Pimlico racecourse over 20 years ago now in 1983. In addition to the Tessio stakes in Maryland, he has races named for him in Milan, Italy, and Melbourne, Australia. His wife also has a race named for her in Rome. Clearly, the mark that the Wizard of Dormello left on this great sport is one that will never be forgotten, as long as they keep calling horses to the post. Well, there you go. All the information you ever wanted to know about the Federico Tessio Stakes and who it was named after. Quite an interesting character, if you, if you ask me, and uh, just amazing when you think back to all of the amazing contributions breeding-wise this man made to the thoroughbred racing game and, and racing some of those great champions that he did, some, depending on who you talk to, considered some of the finest to ever run in Europe. If you're potentially interested in trying to figure out where a particular race name originated from or came from, drop us a line here at Therofan and we'll be happy to try to research it for you. You never know, it may show up on a future segment. I'm Doc for Therofan and we'll see you next time 
on the name behind the race. If you're a passionate racing fan just like the rest of us and want to find a whole bunch of people that are just like you, why not check out Thorofan? Visit Thorofan.com, sign up for a great membership, sign up for our weekly newsletter, and learn everything there is to know about this wonderful sport we call Thoroughbred Horse Racing. Thorofan, giving the fans a voice.